two places have I? Me hey everyone, this is Miles. Welcome to Static Radio. Wow, somebody's got his pet pills tonight. Jeez Louise. That's right. That's right. Hey everybody, welcome to Static Radio. This is your host, Miles Title. Man, left this guy is sound, and... sound like a regular Casey Kasem over there. There's a song, there's a dedication from Bob <laughs> Dedicate... to his friend. I'm going to dedicate it to that fat girl with the ring through her nose. That's right. Bessie, this one's for you. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, where to start, where to start, where to start tonight. Oh, goodness gracious me. You know, I don't know what's better, Miles. I'll start with this. I'll start with this thought. Uh-huh. I don't know what's better, so... Miles sends me a note. He's like, hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Hi, why, don't you, why don't you meet me down in Alton, Illinois? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, you know, whatever you want to do. Where are you going to be there? You know, and then we finally, you know, finally after many back and forth, finally figure out what we're doing. But out of the blue, he's like, you want to meet? in Alton and then we'll kind of run around and you know see some things and weird stuff and whatnot and uh I'm like yeah yeah sure whatever <clears throat> which you know again I'm like 50% chance this isn't going to happen no right? I have cha- I have changed well I, I was changed. right now you're batting a thousand because twice you I asked know. me to meet you and I did and you were there so well, I have I I know I have uh, you know backed out on many things in my life and I'm just trying to get out of that now uh, and I, I'm just assuming uh, it's because I bought lunch both times but maybe not I was just maybe really not. hungry oh I was hungry I was hoping I actually just went down there just to get free food yeah I, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised uh, you certainly didn't uh, spend any money on clothing, so. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I wore my sexy sweats, which your family loves. And, uh... So, uh, so we met up in Alton to take in some sights uh, down. Our, in ma- our mandate. Yeah, a mandate, if you will. I felt like yeah. as we were walking, as we, we met up, and last time you talked about how I always look like I'm dressed for work. Yes. And you're making fun of me. And this time yeah. I was dressed pretty much as I did have some sandals on rather than regular shoes, but I was pretty much dressed uh, like I would on a normal day. And uh, uh, this outing I felt like a uh, either a caretaker – uh, or an older sibling with their younger, <laughs> developmentally challenged, yeah, challenged cousin or something walking yeah. around. Yeah, right. You remember in uh, Private Parts with Howard Stern, where he goes to the yeah. park, his wife yeah. is uh, h- helping the the challenge, and he starts tries to play play frisbee and hits the guy in the face. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's totally that's what me. I felt that's like. Me. Uh, that's me. I felt Thank like, you. okay, come on, Miles. We're going to go and see some things. Okay. Yes. Hey, you know, I, I, want you know, to I see. said I don't want to do it, but I, I went. I went, all right? Okay. But, yeah, you had, again, with the... Uh... Just because all my friends have basically left me at this point, so... Well, you're pretty I mean, much... when, you, when you come dressed like, you know, some kind of... <laughs> Goodwill, you know, goodwill uh, model. <laughs> Got these stained what? sweatpants and this shirt that's like. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know how to make a shirt that is 
like so short in the front and long in the back. I don't have any idea how they make this shirt. It's, you should you should market them as the mullet shirt because that's what it looked like. I'm like, okay. I didn't have I didn't have things on my. Sweat. <laughs> that's funny, yeah. Yeah, and 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 then they keep. You can't put anything in the pockets because they keep working their way down your body. Yeah, I, know. I have to carry everything I have because it's dragging my sweats down. Because you're, you're basically. But I'm showing a, belly. A potato with two on toothpicks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's me. I mean, you, 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 <laughs> you look like a 1940s cartoon character walking around. <laughs> I know you were checking me out this much. I'm getting a little bit weirded out now. Well, I tried not to, but when you when you come out of the car, you know, it's like, <laughs> holy Jesus, I'm spending the day with Tweedledee here, for Christ's sake. Oh, what the okay. Hell? Okay. All right. I'm like, oh, my Lord. I, I feel like I should show up with, like, you know, some decent clothes for you and take you in to change somewhere. Uh no, I, I didn't want to dress like you because then people would assume it was a mandate. So I'm like, no, I'm just going to look like I'm washing a car or something. you know. Like, yeah, either – yeah, people – if they if they seen us out in Alton over the weekend, they either thought that you were a disabled man that I was caring for or we were very different, a, a very, you know, polar opposite <laughs> gay couple. And uh, – I was the bottom apparently. I don't know. Uh, they're like, you know, it's kind of like a – Odd couple kind of situation. I'm I'm Felix and you're Oscar, but you know it is. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, no, I should have wore a hat. Damn it. No, yeah, I'm surprised you didn't. Uh, I was actually hoping we'd go to like a nice restaurant, so I just walk in like like a total turd. You know, like, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay, let's. You know, we'll we'll see. We'll luckily we stayed outside mostly. Um, yeah. You know, so. Yeah. But it was a beautiful day uh, to go sightseeing. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day. And, and we got to use uh, your car, which was even better. So that was nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I paid for lunch and I drove everywhere, which is what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be the trend uh, yeah. here. Um, no, I, fi I figured that you you drove the greater distance and so i felt bad and i'm like well if we can you know swing it this way this will probably work best so unless i got there like an hour late but yeah well, no you weren't actually too well you know you kind of clued me in so i wasn't i didn't have to wait too long until uh, you showed up so yeah so. yeah we, we we went to the dead mall in alton and parked uh and uh you know, you're driving around that mall. You're thinking, is this place even open? It's like, you know, Dawn of the Dead kind of situation in there. But Yeah, I know. It's like this beautiful mall. And like, there's like no one there. Like, wow. Yeah. Oh, On, you know, a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Like nobody there. Nobody there. Nobody. You think it'd be full. Yeah. And then I had us, I had us meet where I thought the most cars would be, which still was not very many. No, yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, I know where I'm gonna go and see a movie at now because there's no. Yeah, I know. There. Like no one there. Yeah, nobody oh, at the movie theater on a Sunday morning. So everyone just gets high in Alton or something. I don't know what the hell. Yeah, and then you know, uh, you come in. You know, you come. <laughs> here comes Fred Sanford. <laughs> he walked into the party. So you want to tell people a few of the sites we took in, or? Uh, well, we went to uh, the McPike Mansion, right? Yeah, we yeah, did. McPike Mansion. Yeah, you can look at everybody on these things. This so. dork is like, oh, I've been here before, so I know everything about it. Don't worry. <laughs> He's got to like, you know, like plug it into, you know, his his Google thing. And we were driving around. He's doing like 50 miles per hour down this road. Like, oh, I think it's here. Oh, yeah, we passed it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I did pass oh, it. I did. I'm, I'm uh, notorious for doing that, yeah. He's like, I'll just go around the block. Well, no, there is no block. There's no it's block. It's not even a yeah. block. It's like some weird uh, plot of land that this is not a block. It's like trapezoidal <laughs> or something. I don't know yeah. what's going on. <laughs> 
So like half an hour later, we finally get there. It's like, okay. Yeah. But we were yeah. able to pull right up. and, uh, and well, There uh, was parking, not much, but there was some parking. Yeah, there was a couple spots there. And um, <laughs> yeah, we'll my son out. actually looked, he was looking through my pictures and he goes, um, did you see the no trespassing sign? And I go, no, I did not. <laughs> he goes, oh. oh, it's in one of your pictures. I assumed you were being funny. Uh, well, no, there was there was one on the building, but it was like looked like it was like an old entrance or something. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. It was. I saw that it was off to the side, but I didn't see any other signs that said you couldn't be there. Well, that's what I said. I go, no, I didn't. Uh... Well, we respected it. We kept our distance. Yeah, and we. You, you didn't even use the porta potty they had on site. Which no, was nice I noticed. Yeah, so I did notice that actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm, nah, nah, I'm okay. All right. Yeah, I can hold it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll hold it. As long as we don't have to go around the block again, I can hold it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like literally the first hour, like trying to find this mansion. Like, okay. Yeah, I I had been there, but like I said, it's probably been, gosh, eight years or ten years. I don't know. It's been a while. I mean, it's a neat looking building, but I don't know anything about it being haunted or not haunted or whatever. Yeah, but, they'd say it's haunted. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would say no. We didn't go. We couldn't go inside because it wasn't open for no. anything. But we did uh, kind of tour as much <laughs> of the outside as we felt comfortable doing without breaking any laws or anything, and took pictures and whatnot. So, right. But right. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, let me see. Where did we go? We went to uh, next to the the river side, right? Um, down to the the uh, old prison, penitentiary. The there's like just a a few like uh, walls remaining of uh, a prison. Yeah, the old Alton Penitentiary, which was later used as like a holding prison and for like uh, Confederate soldiers and stuff. Right. Like yeah. That. All the unlucky Confederates got stuck there and during the war. And we had like Suzanne Summers like show up like in the middle of it, which I mm, I don't know if I would call her Suzanne Summers. No, I don't mean the younger Suzanne Summers. I mean the <laughs> <laughs> it's out of the blue. This lady just shows up and she's just all you know. I think she's kind of like contemporary Mrs. Roper, if you ask me. But uh... <laughs> 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 but uh, no, I was like, I, I'm a history person, so I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, it was cool. It was interesting. It was very, uh, and uh, very interesting down there. Cobblestone streets. If you've never been to Alton, Illinois, you certainly should uh, check it out if you get a chance. It's really. Uh, a, I wouldn't go in. I mean, it's not the safest city at night necessarily, but uh, during the day, it's got some interesting history in cobblestone. Yeah, streets. there's other stuff going on during the day, which we'll get to here in a little bit. But <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. And uh, so now, you know, to continue on, really not too much happened there, I suppose, but. Uh, uh, so this Joker's like, well, let's go into the more of the downtown, and there's some things there. And I'm like, all right. Yeah. So he's like, something about like some uh, cracker factory or something. I'm like, okay, whatever. I never yeah, heard of it. By the cracker factory. Doing fifty once again. Like, boom! <laughs> I, I think that was it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I that think was so. It, yeah. I do have a problem. Uh, it's hard to drive and read the map and you know I know I was doing nothing actually I yeah was you were I was trying to get a scope but I you know and I'm not super familiar so hello uh, between yeah, you go around the block again riding with to, yeah between you and Smith Curl Bomb I will ride with you first I'm gonna oh, be honest okay, with you. okay but, but I do like to zip well, around a little bit yeah we went to uh, the site of the Lincoln Douglas debate Oh, that's right. Yeah, we've thrown that. That's a little thrown in piece there. Yeah, which is not haunted, but we stopped there and uh, yeah. they have some life size, life, uh, life size statues. I can't talk. Yeah, to them. they had statues yeah. that you couldn't stand beside, which I thought was rather rude. 
Oh, I still wanted to do it. I thought, I no. Know. I'm like, I wanted to go up so there. The I wanted to tell her to stand by Lincoln, but no, mm -hmm. I couldn't. I wanted to size. I wanted to see how tall I was compared to Lincoln. Mm hmm. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I did. But no can well, do. Yeah, I don't know. There was then there was like an older couple there when we first got there. Anyway, I think they were kind of eyeballing us anyway. Like, yeah. it, it, they may have been, uh, you know, contemplating what we found later in the day. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope not. I hope not. Jesus. Christ. Well, Marge, we should go down to the Lincoln Douglas thing, and uh, you know. Have a little, we can have a three-way with Lincoln have a, have and Douglas. Well, Douglas has got his finger in the air. Yeah, that'd be a hard one to pull off. Of. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was. Or get over there. It was. Uh, it was interesting. Down, it's a very nice area down there, uh, close mm. to the casino. <laughs> yeah, big. Yeah, I can't miss the welcome to the Alton Casino. That's right. Yeah. These, yeah. Argosy, I think, is the name of it now. It used to be the Alton yeah. Casino. I. I rode on that when it was called the Alton Bell Casino. It actually used to go up and down the river, and you yeah. get on for a cruise for like two hours, and then you know blow all your money yeah. and stuff. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So and, then, uh, then we went. Then we saw the loneliest museum curator. Uh, well, we went to the Mineral Springs Hotel. Yeah. Which is, I guess, part of it's like little shops, I guess, if you will. Right, it's like a, a little mall, like a half-assed <laughs> mall inside the old hotel. And uh, so... Yeah, you were, first you were all, talking to some teenager who was keeping you from shoplifting. Yeah. Yeah, she was watching me. She was watching me. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> she, yeah. she, was th she was thinking, how does that shirt work? How does that... <laughs> I've never seen. What's with those stained sweatpants? I mean, what are those stains? I mean, what? It, it's it's like they, those officer they helmets are in stained. Star Wars. It's like really high in the front and really low in the back. Oh, and then this jackass can't find a place to park. We're like circling I know, the block. I had to circle the block a bunch of times. <laughs> and then we have to like park downhill. So then we had like two old men are walking up the uh, hill. That was tough. <laughs> Well, tough on the knees there and uh so we go in and there's like a like an oddity museum i suppose i don't know if it had a name i don't know well it used to be called the um torture museum torture museum like <laughs> yeah museum of torture devices yeah. or something like that yeah the... so, uh, yeah we met the the current owner of it yeah, yeah. he uh I don't know. I forget the gentleman's name, but yeah, no, he was an interesting guy. I, you know, I had nothing bad to say about him. You know, I, he seemed lonely. Yeah. He really did. Well, there's not many people in the Oddity Museum. I'm going to be honest with you. I think what, well, there's there was maybe three, three sets. There was three sets of people in there. You and I were one, and then there was two other sets of people. Yeah, yeah. But I know way more about him than I would have ever thought when we stepped in there yeah. that we would find out and uh and i you know just to be fair miles paid for my entrance fee into the museum yes i did yeah i did just to be fair yeah. he he coughed up the five dollars for me to be there because he had cash and it was easier so yeah lots yeah i didn't have any cash <laughs> Yeah. No, I, no, it was an interesting little museum. You know, a... Yeah, a lot of weird stuff in there. I, some um, weird stuff. Yeah. I, you know, I told you, I said, that picture looks like my brother. Yeah. And I took a picture of it. It had this really old picture from like the early 1900s of this uh, guy in like a suit. Mm -hmm. but, uh, my brother doesn't wear suits very often and, and his hair is not very short and so forth. But yeah. Um, it looked like him when he was younger and I took a picture and sent it to him and he thought it was hilarious he goes yeah it does look like me it's and my then, former life and then of course my, I sent it to my mother and she's like what and anyway that was a whole other thing <laughs> who are you who are you Yeah. it's me Bob <laughs> your son Gary yeah exactly Gary <laughs> 
Cameron. So, and uh, but yeah, it was that was interesting, and uh, lots of weird oddities and artifacts. And so, if you go, if you happen to be at the Mineral Air, uh, Mineral Springs Mall, you have to go yes. into the Oddities Museum. It's only five dollars. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. I'll Miles, pay for it. Yeah, if Miles is there, he'll pick it up for you. And, I'll uh, pick it up. I'll pay your five bucks if you run into me. <laughs> look and, for the guy in the uh, weird shirt and gray sweatpants. Yeah, That'll look for me. the guy with the mullet shirt and uh, <laughs> staying gray, stay gray sweatpants who look who looks like um, you know he belongs in the, a mob movie. <laughs> I didn't there. want anyone to ask me for money. You know, I thought <laughs> yeah. if I dress like this, no one will think I have money. You know, so I'm like, okay. He looks like a Russian mobster, but like a slovenly one. Yeah. 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 Not, not a cool one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then after that. <laughs> we're good. We're building up the conclusion. You stuck with us this far. Don't tune out. Okay. That's Keep right. with us on this. So we, we were going to uh, go to a certain restaurant, and that was, like, beyond full. Well, we, uh, we actually were on our way to Fast Eddie's. Yeah. And we we had a stoplight, and I, I looked yeah. at the sign. I'm looking at the map, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. There's this <laughs> thing up the hill. You're going to get me laughing already on it's this. It's a monument. Jesus. It's a monument yeah. to... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Elijah P. Lovejoy, um, yes. and I said we should go there because it's <laughs> it's a solemn area where you go to pay your respects to somebody who who basically gave their life for their cause. Yeah, and um, it's a cemetery. It's a full on cemetery. Yeah, this is a full on. And so, like an idiot, I agree to this. I'm like, okay, well, all right. <laughs> Cause there's some really, you know, I don't know, sketchy houses around there. I'm like, I don't yeah, know. It's like I said, Alton is, you know, it's not the most economically it's, it's really hit and uh, booming. It place. was very hit and miss. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we get out and we're walking up and we're laughing and carrying on and we're getting closer to it. We're talking. We're talking. We're getting. Plus, closer. another bad idea was we had to go up like three sets of stairs to get to this thing, but that was. Yeah. Well, once again, old men with me, <laughs> you know, upstairs and we're like. Oh! I can't um, go any further. And uh, do you want to continue on with the story from here? Uh, <laughs> so we go. I say this is Elijah. You never heard of him. I said this is Elijah Lovejoy, and I said he was an abolitionist and he fought slavery <laughs> back in uh, the time of the Civil War. He actually was an editor for the um, Alton newspaper at the time and was very strongly against it, and in fact gave his life uh, because mm -hmm. of it. Uh, yeah. because there was uh, <laughs> hard to believe uh, but you know there was a lot of people who didn't like what he had to say at the time and right. so there's this giant monument I mean it's beautiful monument towering monument with all this granite and, and you know signs and it is, it's just gorgeous and I'll use I think I'll use a picture of it that I took as the show art so you can see it uh and so we're standing there chitting and chatting i think you were reading and i was taking a picture or whatever yeah and it's 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 a it's a large circular style monument with stairs that lead up to uh a large granite uh bench with a all i can say is a tower in the center a really large tower with you know yeah the yeah. ornamentation and everything. And then there was and like a bench right behind it. it too. Was a yeah, it's like a 180 bench all the way behind it, so you could go and sit mm -hmm. and you know meditate reflect. on on yeah meditate. reflect on this person's <laughs> sacrifice, right? He's sacrificed, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so we we aren't quite mm -hmm. to the steps, <laughs> and and we're, ch we're we're laughing and making jokes yeah. or something and. And then this guy sticks his head out from behind the monument. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of half steps out, like with half his body out from behind the <laughs> monument. And I'm like, I mean, it's so it, it's not it's not so big that you could hide like 
a car behind there, but you st- obviously you could hide a person behind there. And yeah. I'm like, well, that's odd. He was <laughs> <laughs> he was behind the monument, and he kind of gives me the the you know where you lift your chin like a hey, 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 and I go, I gave him give him a wave. I'm like, hey, and then you turn. I I don't know what you hell you were doing, but. Then you... uh, no, no, wait, wait, stop, stop. Okay. okay, I because I can't carry stuff in my pants because it drags them. <laughs> I'm what? juggling. I'm I'm holding like my wallet, beaming with cash. Yes. And I thought this is a homeless guy, and he's going to ask for money or kill us or attack us or something. I'm going to put it in my wallet, and I kind of like half turned away because you don't want to make eye contact with crazy people. I'm like, well, okay. I already did. I just waved at him. Yeah, and you said, already hey. like you know you violate rule number one. You know, <laughs> hey, well, what's going on? The because uh, he he was like he had to be at least thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. I don't know. He was in his thirties, right? I don't think ironically he was. In his 40s. He was he was dressed better than me, ironically. Yeah, he was. But, uh, yeah, I don't know how you thought he was the homeless guy. Yeah, I look more homeless than he did, yeah, actually. Yeah, I would say, yeah, you look like, yeah, somebody comes shuffling out of the home, you know. Yeah. And um, and so then I'm like, well, that's, <laughs> I'm, in my head, I'm like, well, that's an odd thing. I thought he was just sleeping back there, to tell you the truth. I'm like, what are you sleeping and, and, <laughs> Not, I don't know, maybe three or four, I don't know how long it was. I I didn't turn around or anything. I was still kind of heading towards the stairs slowly. (laughs) And this this woman comes shooting out the other side. (laughs) (laughs) And she, she seems to be very embarrassed. (laughs) <laughs> as we all were as we all were yeah we you know and so then they he goes one way she goes the other way <laughs> around this monument and then yeah. in back of the monument you could actually drive up and park behind the a little ways behind the monument you could park up there which i didn't yeah. know i wish i would have known that but um and they head for this <laughs> blue car behind the monument yeah, yeah. Because I thought, I'm, well, maybe we're homeless or something. No, no they have a car. Yeah. No, they have a. It wasn't a terrible. It was. It was a nice. It was nice as your car. Right, nicer than my car. I know. <laughs> nice as, nice as my car. I guess even. And um, yeah, and so then I'm like, you know, I'm like, uh, you know, a beautiful mind here. I start putting things together. <laughs> Well, what could they be doing back there? What, what could a man and a woman be doing on a bench behind the Elijah P. Lovejoy statue? Maybe they were playing Battleship. Yeah. Well, she looked like she was... It took her longer to get out of there. Yeah. Like, maybe she needed more time to yeah, get ready. Yeah, she needed a little more time to get uh, yeah. situated. And then I think you and I then turned and and started walking into the cemetery at that point because it was just too weird. It was way too yeah. weird a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're, you're right. giggling, and then I think, <laughs> and I think I said something to the effect of, you know, I don't think I've ever had sex in a cemetery. <laughs> Which I found incredible, actually. I found that incredible. I think they were fooling around behind the statue. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. There's a really uh, nice granite bench back there. It goes all the. It's a 180 degrees. Yeah. Which was funny to me was like I I go I got a text this to my wife. Yeah. Right? I start talking. All of a sudden I'm getting like a hundred questions. Like what were they doing? Well, I, you know, I don't probably you know. Well, what did they look like? Oh, well, I don't. I don't, yeah, you know, they're just like average, like 30 something people. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, they weren't, you know, I just, I don't, I just, I was freaked out because I saw the dude. I'm like, what the (laughs) fuck is this guy doing? 
Why, what is he doing back there? Is he sleeping? Is he taking drugs? Oh, there's a woman with them. Oh, I'm like, he, there was it was a Hummer or something. There was something going on back there. <laughs> that could have been two dudes, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that this other this was the woman. I'm pretty sure she seemed to be. Yeah, no. No, that was a woman. She it seemed to be woman. holding her breasts or something as she left. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I didn't really take a good look. I just thought my periphery. I'm like, oh, fuck. You know, to me, they look like um, they could have been any couple at an Alan Jackson com- uh, concert as far as I Yeah, know. easily, yeah. Don't rock the jukebox. <laughs> I think I you know, had a baseball hat on. Oh. I'm like, I felt a little bad. I like. I hope the guy got a nut at least or something. There, I don't know. know. I just so we were laughing. We couldn't help. We had to walk away and we're laughing about this whole situation. We're oh, trying to figure yeah. out. So then we go. You and I go up to see behind. I go. Yeah. I don't know if we should go back here because I don't know if we're gonna find a wet spot or. You yeah, know, what? Bob was weird. Bob's like, me next, me next. You know, yeah, like, what? Is going to be like what? a condom there on the bench? I don't know what's going on. I know, I had to look. I know, I'm like, let's see. And what, you couldn't you know. contain yourself. You're like, you know, I'm going to go get a souvenir. <laughs> hey, if there was going to be like some wet spot or goo, yeah, I was going to get a picture of it. Yeah, Is it, You know, Miles Title CSI going on back there. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, it looked like a, I didn't sit on the bench at that point. I was not going to sit on that bench, no matter what, any part of it at that. But it did look like a I don't comfortable think, spot. I could certainly see I, where you could, you know. I don't think she was a spitter. I'm just going to say that right now. She certainly didn't. Yeah, I didn't, we didn't see any evidence I, of uh, any kind of. Uh, you know, maybe they were just back there rehearsing the play or something, you know. Maybe they were just having a conversation and, you know, just uh, like a Marilyn Chambers play or what? I don't know. I I don't know. I I <laughs> just when you think you've seen it all, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, huh. I yeah, I there was this, it was uh yeah. This thing's more like Bob Lament territory. I'm gonna be very honest with oh, you. Oh yeah, okay. Is, yeah. Okay. This has got Bob Lament written all over it. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm like, how strange. Yeah, how strange! I'm like, yeah, it never, it never occurred to me. Yeah, that you would go in the middle of the day and yeah. you know have some sexual <clears throat> antics behind the Elijah P. Lovejoy uh, statuary. Romance has certainly changed these days. <laughs> I guess, yeah. but I can tell you that chair was it was high. I mean, you couldn't really see over it from the other side. I can see yeah. why they. I can see why they picked that spot out of all the other spots in the cemetery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but on a on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon, I'm not so sure that was the best idea. But uh, they left pretty yeah. quickly, and um, yeah, yeah. I got. I, the only good thing is they saw you, and they could tell that we weren't like park rangers or anything. So they, they probably thought I was homeless. Like, yeah, oh shit, care. let's get out of here. <laughs> He's gonna ask us for money. He's get out of here. Or three yeah. way. I'm not sure which. Yeah, I don't get know. Out of here. I don't... <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> It was like These yakety snacks. Uh, they don't have da, 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 da. any uh, motels here in Alton. That, uh, I think I just stay in the car. I just like go to a forest preserve and just stay in the car or something. There is like a it. state park down the road, like not even ten miles. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. But may, I was like, is, I, it, I is it a bet? It's like you know, was this like uh, a, was this like a paid uh, interlude or what? I don't know. See, I, I was thinking it was like... Uh, you I have know, so many questions about it's this. It's some kind of weird flirting with this woman. He's like, yeah, I bet you can't suck my dick behind the Elijah P. Lovejoy <laughs> statue. <laughs> I bet I can. <laughs> oh, wow. Then they, oh, they saw you oh. and me, and they're like, oh, God, here comes the homos. <laughs> Hey, are you guys done back there yet? Yeah. <laughs> I, I got my. I'm num. I'm. We're the next number. <laughs> we're number two. Like, 
like oh my god <laughs> that the the like, youth the youth pastor has got a homeless uh, drug addict he's gonna <laughs> screw behind elijah p lovejoy statue they're both so ugly i can't tell which one's the bottom i'll tell yeah, you that oh, it's god. just like oh my <laughs> I don't know it's what some was homeless going through that head. Some homely chickies with, you know. <laughs> it's like, you, you know, you always get mistaken as a woman. I'm wondering, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that homeless guy and that chick with the sandals, you know. Uh, they're they're waiting, honey. Let's go. Let's finish up. There seems to be a stand-up comedian and a ladies <laughs> golfer out here. <laughs> I look like one of those dads that, like, if there was, like, a neighborhood football game and, you know, they're like, hey, go get your old dad. You know, he can play football with us. You yeah. Know? I'll go That's play. what I look like. Yeah. yeah. That's I'll what I look like. Put your jersey on. Your belly's hanging out. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, God. I was just like, I can't imagine <clears throat> that what was going through their head whenever they heard us coming up the thing, you know. Uh, finish up, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was. I don't know. Wow, that's now the the so the you had this whole exchange with your wife trying to explain the situation where um, I was fortunate enough to have short uh, like shorthand because uh, and I've told this story already <laughs> on the show, but when my wife and I were in Paris, uh, we went to Pere Lachaise uh, Cemetery and two people were getting it on by the bathrooms. Like, but yeah. not not to the point that we think these people were. They were like making out or something, and yeah. uh, in in France. And it was like I go, I just uh, had a pair of Lachaise encounter that was a little further along, and she thought it was <laughs> with Miles. No, no, I mean I saw people. <laughs> just we make sure you walk it up, okay? And she's like. She's like, I don't know what it is about people. She's assuming they were having an affair because, of, you know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh my god, it was just the most oh. bizarre thing. And then, and then you're like, basically, that made your whole day. You're like, oh my gosh, this is the best. I don't know who's more embarrassed, them or me. I was like, yeah. I don't... <laughs> I felt just as dirty as they did. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. With you. Like, ah, oh, <laughs> yeah, but I think you just enjoyed it immensely. I mean, so then we. Oh, I enjoyed it. Okay, yeah, this guy. Oh, well, you wouldn't oh. stop talking about it. We talked. We went to lunch after that. And you talked about it all through lunch. Well, not, I didn't say it when the young girl was by the table. I no, say. but you just kept. On it. I mean, it was just like non. I can't believe that we. The only thing I'm that stopped you from talking woman. about it was when that old woman fell down outside. Oh yeah, I was going to get to that. Yeah, that was oh, our sorry. second. I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so we we went we we finished up, if you will. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we we decided we'd go to like some little pizza place or something, and. Uh, oh yeah, Fast Eddie's was just too busy. Yeah, there like way too many bikes. They had there. three like, parking yeah. lots, and two of them were completely full. There was no way I was yeah. going to go in there. So uh, no, no, I don't have much that much time. And uh, so we go to a little pizza place, and uh, it's kind of—I mean, it's small, but kind of neat because you can kind of get a view, of, you know, the city a little bit, and <laughs> you can kind of like see like downhill, I guess. You can kind of see the sidewalk, and then. Like, shortly after we came in, like, some dude comes in by himself, and he kind of, I don't know, just, we were talking about this guy, kind of just had a weird way of ordering stuff, I don't know. Uh, spaghetti, meatballs, I had that, please. Uh, well, there's a whole big restaurant, we were after, we were late lunch, and he sat right yeah. by us, I'm like, what the fuck? You know. I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, I'm going to be talking about this guy fucking a lady at the Elijah yeah. P. Lovejoy statue. <laughs> Oh, I've been there too. It's a great place. It's a great place. You know, there's this homeless guy with his funny shirt, looks like a mullet. He hangs out there. Whenever I get a whore, I go down to the Lovejoy. <laughs> I go down yeah. to the Lovejoy. <laughs> it's called the Lovejoy, you know, the LJ. Yeah, Lovejoy, yeah. And uh, uh, so we, I think we pretty much had eaten. We we're almost done eating, I suppose. And like out of nowhere, like this guy behind us is like. Oh my God! That old lady fell. Yeah. 
And like, sure enough, there's like some woman. I guess probably, I would think probably in her seventies, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, she was. Well, she was older. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then like, there's like a other older lady with her, like standing over her or something. And the lady on the ground like threw like a package at the other woman, and yeah, the other woman just. Like, <laughs> and the other woman just like stormed off. So this lady's just out of the floor, and this is when this guy yells like, "Oh my god!" Oh my god! And he god. goes, like, which is now here's the the part where you can see we're complete assholes. He goes outside to check on her. Guess who didn't? I didn't we did. I didn't go. I'm not getting involved <laughs> in that. Nah, no, she ain't dead. You know what the hell? You know? She's she was sitting on the curb. She was fine. <laughs> The old bat, you tripped, you know? I'm like, she had a friend with her that abandoned her. I was assuming she was going to get help or something or whatever. They were seemed well, to be fine. I think it was an older gentleman that showed up, it looked like, once she got with her feet. Some oh, older okay. Gentleman. Was there? I didn't, I didn't pay attention. And I'm terrible. We made absolutely no effort to help at all. None. <laughs> I didn't, at this point in the day... I did not want to get yeah. involved after the whole, you know, fuck fest up at the <laughs> at the monument. I'm like, I can't, I can't He's be still, involved, you Bob, know. Bob still had a boner. He's like, oh man, I can't walk. This <laughs> no, Jesus. I'm just like, I'm gonna Thank go out God. there, and that old lady's gonna French kiss me or something. I don't know what's gonna happen. You know where I like to go when I get lonely? Yeah. The old uh, well, LJ. But that, that was weird. I, I I thought for sure the guy was not going to come back and pay his bill. That was that'd been a great ruse though, wouldn't yeah. it? Oh, the best. Oh, yeah. I gotta go help that woman yeah. and then just take off. Yeah. Cause, I mean, she was like half a block away. I ain't paying for your spaghetti and meatballs. Your spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, he was a he was an odd duck. Yeah. I think I'll sit by these two guys. Yeah, I'll just go sit at the table right by, you know. This the There's like a caretaker and his ward, yeah, his twisted uh, cousin or something. Because like a big family had come in and like they actually like sat like way across like the other side of the restaurant. Yeah, you know? I took a look at you, yeah, <laughs> which I would have done too if I was them. I'm like, I'm not gonna sit by two dudes. Why do I want to sit yeah, by two? Why do I want to sit by weirdos? Stained sweatpants. You, know? you know that ugly chick with the the sandals on and the, yeah, exactly. Her special needs son or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and then oh yeah. The, this is where you got mad because the the uh, waitress is like, do, "Do do you want me to bring you a box?" Yeah. I go, "I don't know. You better ask Slimer over here. I think he's still eating." <laughs> and you got all offended. Hey, you know, don't call me Slimer. <laughs> Remember that? I didn't get offended. I just said she probably doesn't even know what that means. Ah, oh, she probably knew. Oh no, I, we had pizza. It was good pizza. I wasn't gonna like, let that go to waste. Come on. I know, but I didn't. I'm not gonna eat the whole goddamn thing. Well, I did. It's it was great. good. Oh, um, 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 um. it was good. Cookie. Oh. Well, heck, I've been jogging around the city for half the day. Yeah, and, you know. Yeah, quite an appetite after the old love joy incident. <laughs> I can tell you that. Yeah, I got uh, Tidal over there testing the bench for Smegma. I don't know what's going on. Hey, let me get out my black light that I like to carry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask why. And I'm gonna check and see what, what's on the bench here. Yeah, it was a weird day. Definitely a weird oh, yeah. day. I can see butt cheeks. Uh oh. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. the phantom handprint is the phantom ass cheeks. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh, it was this bizarre. I and can't, uh, I can't believe. And it. just uh, as a, a final note, we ended up at the mall and we walked around the mall and the dead mall. Yeah. We, there's like a huge mall. There's literally like four stores open. I think we went in three out of the four. Right, right we did. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was really. It, it's been a dead mall as, as long as I've. Uh, known about it and uh, it still is so yeah if you happen to that be in Alton it. the mall could use your business honestly so yeah so but yeah uh, which is to... funny because like one store only acknowledged our presence like every other store like <laughs> no greeting I can I help you no, uh -uh. there was zero yeah 
It's just like the people that work there are bullshitting with each other. Like, oh, what are you going to do this week? going to get high? Yeah, yeah, I am too, man. I'm going to get high and I'm going to go fuck somebody at the Elijah P. Lovejoy statue. And I'm not, I don't care who. I don't care. Yeah, I'm going to meet, meet <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, well, they probably thought it, you know, it was me and my retarded pal or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> People, oh, yeah, let me tell you about my best secret. friend. Da, da, yeah. da, da. Oh my gosh. Terrible stuff. 